people, YouTube people, apparently my intro has defaulted to sounding like an alien, so that's okay, because I don't know anything else to do. If I look identical to a video that I put out recently, a mini haul that I did, it's because I'm recording it the same day. Because uh, my time is limited, it's finals week coming up, so summer, man, I'm good. Not booked at all, not working, nothing, so I will have lots of time. Today I want to bring you some of my favorite go-to products. The products that I've been using the most, I guess, and that I've gotten the most like benefit out of. Most of these products are NYX. They make great products for a great value, and they also don't test on animals. So three wonderful things, great products, great value, don't test on animals. So it's perfect. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start us on this. So first of all, I'm going to talk about some of the brushes that I've been using. And please don't mind me, but they're really dirty because I just use them. I clean them at least every week, every other, two, every other week, I guess, if absolutely necessary. These are my, some of my favorite brushes. So these are the ones I've been using. This one's Real Techniques. I think I got it at either Ulta or Target. This one is the e.l.f. Pointed Foundation Brush. Again, I said it's dirty, I know, and I'm very pale, so this comes off as very white on my brush. I don't like to use beauty blenders because they, to me, for me, they've always just smeared. I think because I'm not wetting them, but that just seems weird, and I don't want to do a finish, so maybe I just haven't looked into it enough, but I've been sticking with brushes like the Rebel that I am. The next one is a contour, a sculpting, this is sculpting and how are they calling this a setting brush but I've used them as contour and highlight um, they've been really great to do that with you can see it's very dirty again um, so contour and highlight and contouring is not hard for me because my skin is so white that it, it just goes right on and then a highlighter which is just a white foundation I've been using so yeah okay we're gonna move on to the more NYX products I guess at least for a little bit this Cream, the cream contour palette that I bought is wonderful. I'm not a huge fan of brown, like bronzy natural colors, so I'll put gray or black over it. But as a set for, like as a setting your line for your contour line, it's wonderful. So there, you can see I've been using it a lot. But then they have the highlighters as well. So they have a darker highlighter, and that middle one is more of a white. Those I'm not super fond of. It just hasn't been working great for me. But that brown color is great to set your first line, essentially. The NYX HD Finishing Powder, that's what I've been using lately. Oh, my hands have makeup all over them. The HD Finishing Powder, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Very sort of translucent. This is a banana color, HD FPO2 banana. So it's like a, probably their lightest color. Femme Fatale eyeshadow palette is wonderful. They have all the base colors that I use. They have this red, this bright red. It works great. Um, if you want that, like, dead girl eye, which I do often. Um, they have, like, a dark bluish, like, a metallic gray almost. And that's what I'm wearing right now on my eyes. So, yeah, they have this, like, bronzy color that you can use as a base. So this Sex Bomb has, palette has been wonderful. I really love it. Okay, well, apparently I don't have it. But the lip color I'm wearing right now is, like, a charcoal gray. And it's the Suede Lipsticks. Lip, liquid Suede liquid to mac liquid to matte but they're suede i also have a pink which is in the shade of pink lust beautiful bright pink pops with black eyes another thing here is this lip primer stick from nyx wonderful i love it because it really makes sure that you have a flat finish a base to put your put your lipstick on so it's great Lastly, I have a Be Gone lip color remover. So this is wonderful for your lip stains. I found that ColourPop in particular has really stainy lipstick, which is not a bad thing because I usually will wear those if I need like a long wear from going to like out for the night or if I'm going somewhere for the whole day and I want a lips to stay because I'm not gonna necessarily have the time or attention to upkeep it. And then I can use this as a color remover, lip remover, lip remover, lip color remover. One of my favorite eye products, I literally just bought this last night, so it's technically still June 1st because I'm recording this on the 2nd, but the Super Fat Eye Marker. So I thought it would be terrible. Like, I thought it would just be not a good eye product. Um, but yeah, for my eyebrows, it's been wonderful. And even just like the wings, both on the inner and the outer, have been great to use this with. Gold Star. Lastly, just the Barely There... NYX 
eyeshadow. It's a really great uh, base for for me. For me, it's a base that does that blends in with my skin tone because I'm not super like I don't have dark skin or like tan skin or anything like that. So, but for someone who has darker skin, it'd probably be more of a white. For me, it's a base. It literally just blends into like my my face. Um, this one is in My Pretty Zombie. I think I've talked about it before and I was kind of, I don't remember if it was in my products I regret buying video. But now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm using it for different things, like for example, I've used it as a highlighter on my face. I've used it as just like a base that would blend in with my face, stuff like that. I've used it a little more. I've kind of given it another chance and I feel like it's it's better. I mean, it gives you a little shimmer. It doesn't give you much color. So if you're looking for like a white white, this is definitely not the one for you. The last two, one of them is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palmade. This has been my lifesaver. I really love it. It At first I was a little confused because I never used pomade before. I always just used eyeshadow or like eyeliner. So I was a little confused as to like whether I was using it right, it just felt weird. But now I'm like kind of burning a hole in the bottom of it, so that's good. But it's great. It's a little glossy. It can be a little like shiny, so it helps to put some eyeshadow over it as it's just a finisher, like a matte finish. But it is wonderful and it stays on all day long. I use it every day. I would be lost without it. And lastly is the Concrete Minerals Jet Color. I may have talked about it before. I'm not sure if I mentioned these before. But this Concrete Minerals is the shit. The only thing that I would say about this is if you are not sort of good with Fallout, like, uh, you know, most of you probably know what Fallout is, but if you're not good with, like, the remains of eyeshadow that fall on your cheeks, then this one would be a hard one for you because it's a very um, potent, I guess, very intense color. It's very black. And it will stain your cheeks and you will have to like just keep putting foundation on it to cover it up or whatever. It will it will be a problem. So make sure you're brushing it, <laughs> blowing it off a little bit before you're putting it on because that's going to be a huge one. Only use a little bit too. That's what I found. Like use the tiniest, tiniest bit. Not even a fingernail of this. Don't put your brush in there and fucking, because you will just be powder black on your face completely. So that was it. That's all I have. <laughs> Lots of NYX products, like I said. Um, and so yeah, that's all I have for that. That's my haul slash favorite stuff. And I, this is not all stuff that I bought. I didn't buy a lot of this stuff. I've had it for months or a year now, but these are things that are my go-to, my favorite things. Let me know what some of your favorite things are. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I love when you guys engage and talk with me. It's great. I love for an interactive channel. So hope you guys like this and see you guys next time. Bye.